Hi everybody, welcome to No Mystery Whiskey today. Yes, because there's no mystery. I'm Phil. <laughs> and you are? I'm Deepa. I was saying different things so Deepa didn't know what I was talking about. Um, We will be doing a little bit of an Ardbeg new 2019, uh, sorry, 2020. Oh, 2020. Versus 2014. So not super old, but just old enough to see. Is there any difference over like five years, let's say? I'll put them down there for now. Um, actually, Viscometer. Let's have a go. Here we go. This is the new Ardbeg. May as well, may as well have this going while we chat. Okay, get it to the top. And, oh, mouse isn't ready. Hang on, let's go again. And, go. It's the old and new. This is the new one. Um, everyone pay attention because I'll probably be distract distracted and miss when it comes down to the bottom mark. It's gonna be about three minutes to 3.30. <clears throat> Why are these bottles on the table though? I know a few people have been asking me what happened to the sharing video? Did it get flagged or taken down or something? Don't worry, nothing bad happened except so many people uh, were excited about sharing whiskey that it was such an overload <laughs> that I had, to, I had to put an end to it, I had to stop. <clears throat> because I can tell you that over 200 samples, about 18 bottles worth, had been requested. And thanks to everyone who did, because it's, anyway, hope everything works out. But look, the Berry's 40 year blend, almost done. Can you just put those down there? Scapa 16, got killed off. Oh, that is nice. Our Craig Ellicky 13, that's all we've got left. Look at that. <laughs> this little drop in the bottom. <clears throat> The stinky Craig Ellicky. Oh, look, there's a little tiny bit left. There's a little tiny bit left of stinky Craig Ellicky. Gone as well. Tobermory 22. There's a tiny little bit in there. This is my own blend of 20% Springbank Sauterne with local barley nine. I was surprised many people wanted to try that. And that's all I've got left of that. So I have to make another batch if I want another go. <laughs> And Local Barley 9 itself got hit hard, but I think you know I've got more of those. And, well, how are we doing on the top? Okay, we're, we're still good. Remember at the end of the last episode, I said deep to Deepa, do you want to share it or keep it for yourself? And what did you say? <laughs> Deepa wanted to keep it for herself, but after the sharing episode, this is all you're going to get to keep yeah. for yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's that's two bottles of Kilcarran 8 Oloroso. Interestingly, nobody asked for a sample of the Kilcarran 8 bourbon. Funny. Okay, how are we doing? Two minutes and 12. I think we'll treat today as a bit more of a casual, a casual chat. Let's bring up the Ardbegs. Hey, look at that. Talking of casual chats. National Parks Artist, yes! Someone who is joining in. De Pair, <laughs> yes, from De Pair. That's reminded me, I'll tell that story. Oh, fantastic. Yes, you are. Well, first of all, National Parks Artist, here we go. Where is your coins? <laughs> and, oh no, we don't have any papers ready. Yeah, but where's the paper? There you go, write it on this. <laughs> and here's the rest of your seven back. <laughs> I see another one coming up. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That is much appreciated. Oh, how are we doing on the timer? Did someone see it? So it's about three. Here we go. 16, 17, 18. Okay, let's call that 318 for the new Ardbeg. 
I should call it the 2019 rather than old versus new because it will get confusing otherwise. Um, <laughs> the little story about De Pair. I was on the sharing yesterday. I was preparing things and I had two addresses. No, there were two names, both from De Pair, De Pair. And I thought I'd mess something up, but it turned out there were two people who had asked about sharing. And when I looked up the addresses, they were one mile apart from each other. <laughs> so I sent email over saying, hey, you two guys might want to say hello to each other. <laughs> uh, right, let's reset. So, okay, let's talk about the bottles for a second. I'll take the scometer off. We'll come back to that in a second. Not, like I say, they're not massively different in age, but can anyone tell which is the new one, which is the old one? <laughs> yeah, Deepa can tell because of all the dust on this one. But in terms of the graphics, actually the box height is slightly shorter as well. So the 2019 version, I don't know if the, I don't know if the graphics on the bottle are different. In fact, I'm not sure that I've taken this bottle out yet. Oh, I must have done because there's I've got my label on it. Ah, the welcome committee. Now, do they look different? Okay, yeah, it's a slightly smaller type of graphic. Maybe we can see it on this camera. No, we'll go to the other one. There we go. So you can see that this one over here that's half empty is the 2019. And yeah, 2014. Oh no, you know, I take it back. I was saying 2020 earlier. It is 2019. But you can see that it's a slightly older looking bottle. Is the glass darker or is it just the whiskey that's inside? It's darker. Yes, let me see. Okay, let's go back out. Ah, oh. Matthias, would this be a good moment to try your 3D whiskey? <laughs> I have it as well. Oh, you have it as well. The the Dalyuan, Dalwini and Dufftown blend, <laughs> the 3D. That's funny. That's the only bottle which is not open in, in our collection. That's funny. The new Recharge Sherry 57.1. Yes, oh, you're talking about uh, the other bottles. Okay. Are they both 750 mil? Oh, that's a good point. They should be because they're both US. They are both... 750 and let's see percentage 54.2 and 54.2 so that'll give us a little chance to do the bottle shake as well now although this is an old bottle versus a new bottle a 2014 no, no, versus a 2019 new. this is 2014 oh that's why i should call them by their real name 2014 2019. This bottle has been open for a long time, whereas this one is going to be a neck pour. So that's also another difference. Do you want to open it? No. Why not? Pull that little... There you go. Ardbeg's peel go the opposite direction to everyone else, I noticed. Let's give it a little... Right, go on then. Hey, uh, for now, what am I going to do with the viscometer? I'm going to have to try and pick it up while the camera's on it because I forgot I need to empty it. You talk while I do this. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the new, the old one. Don't say old, say 2014. It's just me. Okay, normally it's difficult to make for the practice. But. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We're going to have a little bit of cross Ugadal contamination here. But it'll be fine. And at the back, it's different. <laughs> right, let me set that aside. We'll get, uh, we'll get the viscometer going again. Yeah, we go up, up the, in, in a second. Let me, let, me, <laughs> let me get the viscometer going while we chat. Now, also, we haven't 
poured and left them in the bottle, I mean, in the glass to get air at all. <laughs> Science. <laughs> right. Let's make sure we are fully mixed up here. I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, can we get the timer started? Here it comes. And go. Right. 318 to beat. These bottles have both been sitting in this room for a couple of days, so they have definitely normalized in temperature. Um, I guess it's time that we pour something. The other thing I wanted to do was a little little bottle shake bubble test between the two as well. I thought, could there be any difference? I like the way people were impressed with my my bottle pouring skills. <laughs> It's more luck that I just don't get any of the spills on camera. Bubbles. Let me do it the right way round. Oh, you know, for a start, the color is different. Oh, even the color. Quite. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and there's bits. What do you think about the shake level? How is the bubbles looking? Well, the ABV we know is identical. The older one does have better quality <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> now, by better quality bubbles, I'm suggesting that there is more oiliness in there. <laughs> Sunday evening scotch. Ooh, that glug, glug, glug from the new bottle. It is a fine thing in life. Well, look at that. Certainly the old one is winning in terms of the bubble meter. I would say. It's the same ABV, but more oil. Yes, more, well, normally you would expect longer lasting bubbles to suggest an older whiskey. And I think that's off the basis that mm. the longer it's been in a cask, the more likely it's to have um, pulled out oiliness. So that is showing something already. Um, let's pour. Let's pour it into colored glasses so that it'll help us all keep track. How are we doing on the timer? It's good. So 2019 is going in the red glass. Tw 2014 in the black ga glass. Of course, I can't see how much I'm pouring in there. <laughs> that sounded like a lot. It's <laughs> 2019. Right. We're not adding any water at all. Do you want to do water? A few drops no. first? No, not for beat. Some dad for the beat. He gives a pretty table for beat. How are we doing on the timer? What do we think? Is this going to get past 318? It looks like it is, isn't it? Or is it? 2014 is <laughs> the excitement of science. Three minutes. Oh, it's going to go past, isn't it? Maybe one of them is more filtered, False Graph is saying. Yes, look. Any intelligence on the ages of the whiskey? Everwind, uh, 2014 versus 2019. And we are well past 318. Look at that. Come on, 2014. I could go back and do the first one again to be sure. 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I'm going to give it 40. 3 minutes 40 is a full 22 seconds longer. Wow. On the viscometer. What are we thinking about that then? <laughs> yeah. So it's like a that that ties in with the longer lasting bubbles. I think we've confirmed the longer bubbles and the viscometer both suggest. Do you keep turning these around? <laughs> both suggest that we have a more viscous version. Where should we put these so they're kind of out of the way? Now maybe maybe we just keep them back here. 
Now, I would like to go, even though it's not a blind day, I'd like to go just nose, nose them blind. Let me check in with the chat. Has anyone, uh, uh, anyone saying anything? Moronic, what are you saying? Maybe there's bits floating in the whiskey blocking the opening. <laughs> Don't think so. False graph, longer time in the viscometer fits with the better bubble quality. Yeah, there we go. More oils, less filtered, more bits. Older whiskey in the older bottling. Hey, Greg's Whiskey Guide is in. I'm afraid both of your versions, Whiskey Mystery, see the old components gone now. After earlier versions did bear some 30 year old content. Uh, I think what I think what you're saying, Greg, is even the 2014 version is still a new whiskey. I think I, that's what you mean. Lucky's in. Hey guys, today I score I scored WT Masters Keep. 17 year old Kentucky straight bourbon for 200. Oh, you mean like a lottery you got picked? Congratulations. I'm sure plenty of people will be happy to help you with that. All right. I I'm just moving. Why don't you give me the two and I'll just say which one I like on the nose. <laughs> Let's see if we, hopefully I can't tell any difference in the glass. Right, on the nose. Smells like bacon. Less on the nose, much more. I'm thinking this is probably the 2019 because the bottle's been open for half a year. On the nose, more open, but maybe more spirity. More muted. Oh, so. Did the older one. So I'm getting more on the older one, even though it's straight out of the bottle. Neck pour. All right, do you want to try it as well? So I guess that means I'm... Smoke the smoky sphere. <laughs> Deep is just liking the smoke. Stronger <laughs> ABV. Stronger ABV? Well, it's not, but deeper means it's a stronger experience. I said the same no, thing. I, same. I said more spirity, maybe, didn't I? I'm trying to keep hold of the, the chat. Smith. Yes, I said the same thing. More minty, more more minty. No, you got it wrong in the same way I did. Ah, uh, I see. But we both said the same things. You said stronger ABV, meaning it's not, but more spirit. Okay. But I said it's new because it was more. If I uh, mindy, the flavor, but fresher, so I don't mind you. Yeah, more punchy. So we're definitely noticing a difference. Um, I'm going to go for a sip. But I'm going to take water first, I think, just because it's um, it is strong. I should have put this one. Put it over there. Now I want to do this blind though, so maybe we can't do that. <laughs> All right, I'll go little sips. Just give me the two. Do you want to go first with the no, sips? I give you two. Blind. Right. I'm going for a taste at full strength. We haven't had any whiskey today, and uh, I'm, I'll try not to pay attention to the nose. I'll just go straight for a little sip. What's wrong? <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, it's. Fantastic though. Definitely too much for me on a first sip like that. Tons of power. Now through that rich smokiness, fine. Okay. Oh, getting getting a little bit like charred oatmeal now. Okay. Slightly more the Freud direction in terms of iodine, I think. A bit more rounded with the more bacon. I'm leaning on for this one first. Very, very close. My bias is to this one 
has been a bit more richer and rounder. Oh, that is the new one. 2019. Oh, it's too strong for me. <laughs> we'll we'll go water. Right, do you want to go? Maybe have a sip of water first. Right. <laughs> so it's old neck pour versus new open bottle. Tricky. Okay, let's see what Deepa's going to get. I'll have a quick look in at the chat. I forgot my master put this in me. I don't see anyone asking us any questions directly. Wow. Bacon beet. Bacon and peat. Mm. <laughs> Deep is happy. It's, oh no, I'm getting a bit of a bit of is out with the um prickly. A bit prickly. A, a pepper prickly. It's the heat, yeah, it's the heat. Mouthfeel different considering viscosity. Oh, good idea, Everwind. I'll pay attention to that on the next one. Creamier, thicker. Creamier, thicker. There you go. Answer. Bunt and more flavour, more smoky. That's this one. Yes. But it is more creamier. So the uh, the 2014 is creamier, but there's more flavour coming out of the. I like the texture of 2019. The texture is wonderful. Better texture. Yes. Pepper, pretty, very prickly pepper. Okay. I'm wondering, I'm not sure which one Deepa actually likes the best at this point. I go for this ah, one. Okay. But Deepa has more flavours. More flavours, but okay, better mouthfeel. Nice texture. <laughs> nice texture. Right. Uh, okay, let me go again. I want another go now. Hmm. <laughs> See if my tongue has kind of, uh, you know, numbed down slightly. I've got the slight Laphroaig thing again as well, I think. Do you actually like it as a whiskey? I like it, I like it, but I've, it's better more smoke. So more I smoke? Was surprised. <laughs> Oh. It's definitely very higher. Yeah. Uh, it's not that sooty, it's not that ashy, mini, in a bad kind of suit. It's more of a warm. big in the apple smoke. Oh, yeah. Prickly. This is a little bitey sharp yes. at the back end. Very prickly, very sharp. So based on what you said, I'm recognizing the prickliness and presuming this is the new one now. Let me go back. Mm. Okay, so I'm presuming this is the old one? Yes. It's not I was, smooth, dreamy. I was That's definitely the... getting more of the oiliness there. Yes. On that one. But add more flavors. Initially, but the second half is harsher. <laughs> so I would say when this bottle gets down a bit and opens up, it is going to be better. better. Okay, let's have a look at the chat. Jimmy Leg, why is there only one Springer in the first section on the shelf? That's just not right. <laughs> You're right, Jimmy. It's the, and it's, it's a slightly weird one as well, but there's like a whole host of an army here waiting to get in. If I'd removed the first three when we did the clear out, we would have uh, we would have shifted the odds up. That's true. That Dean's an eighteen anyway. We're getting. Don't you both move me up? up the, up the, move up the same place. I'm not worrying about the shelf for the, the Ugadal today. Let's um, let's do a little bit of. This is the one I poured out of the viscometer. So this is the new one. Actually, we'll leave it like that. Um, I want to do a little bit of water. And see what happens now. Let's have a little bit more. Of course, now uh, now we don't have any color, do we? Actually, you can tell just by looking at it. Oh, maybe is there a bit of cork in there? It's darker. 
just bubbles. Is that for oh, no, amber? Amber. Uh, I think more yellow oak. Okay, five drops. I think I might have slightly more whiskey in this glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. I give it one extra drop for the extra whiskey guess. Oh, you know, the other thing we haven't done is um, just to do the pour, pour out for the nose. So. Keep track of things. So the inner ones have the water, right? Nose. There's a lot of alcohol power in that. Mm, it's definitely softer, a little bit more pine needles. And this one's more spirity and a bit more burnt oatmeal. They're both, I mean, they're both high spirit, right? Okay, let me go to the chat while Deepa's having a go. Yeah, I mean, they are similar. Very close. Oogadal is 110 here in Washington. 135 after taxes, Jerry. Wow, that is bad. Um, I can tell you we paid $63 for this one, but it is almost two years ago. <laughs> and I paid 96 for this in Save More Sam as a dusty bottle that was expensive. So I would expect to be paying about $80 here in California. Can you tell? Very, very close. Okay, give me blind. Let's see if I can pick up anything. And my aim is begun. Batty smoke. It's very soft. So that there's a bit more, there's a little bit of the plasticine medicinal here. And then a little more closed off and I get slightly matchsticks on this one now. I don't know if that's consistent with what I said before. Is, th is this the old one? No, it's the other way around. Did I say medicinal? But that one. I don't know what I said before, but. So I'm getting, yeah, it's the same, I'm getting more rock. on the noise. You get a medicine at rock. Yeah, okay. If it's a pretty note. Oops. <laughs> that's why we have the colored glasses. Thanks, Deepa. Um, Water added. I'll give you. All right. Why don't we pour them back in now that we've done that? That will make life a little easier. Right. Does the nose open up at all? Of course, we've been talking now for uh, 30 minutes. Actually, just give it to me again because I saw it. So it's had 30 minutes in the glass now. Okay, give me again. So burnt oatmeal, making me think it's the 2019. Oh, closer now. A little more closed off. And it's so the A little more open. Okay. Mmm, delicious. Oh, that seemed like I got the pepper rush right at the end. The harsh spikiness. Hmm, rounder. Oh, wait a minute. Much more spikiness at the end of this one, which makes me think that must be the 2019. Okay, different this time. Now, this is the first time we've added water. And if that pepperiness is in the oils, a bit of water might be pushing them up to the top. And uh, do you prefer put the water or three? I think I was preferring the new one that time. Okay. No, no, but for for all if you mean you prefer put the water. Um, I think the alcohol's just too high for me at fifty-four, so probably with a bit of water. Okay. Oh, too much water. One more go. Is that too much water? No, it's only a few drops. Let's see where deeper ends up. 
Uh, let's see. Jimmy Leg, like 127 talcum, talcum powder. 127 Canadian. Okay, so thinner on the 2019. Deepa's drinking the 2014 oh, now. Okay, so like prickly. Enough, very prickly at the end. So she's getting the same thing. After prickly. Okay, this is the 2019. Ah, <laughs> now she's thinking that's the older one. Oh, no, prickly. Peppa is coming up with her face. But I never got what they need. Yes. And I'm not sure I even at that bit. So I think Deepa's leaning towards, well, let's see. I think she's liking this one more, the 2014. It is. more Okay. It's prickly. I don't know prickly. And so it makes me new. I mean the old. Because, uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, because I'm getting more reamy. Stander, so I'm expecting it. Now, but put the water in making reamy. Uh. So with the water, we both flipped over, thinking we were getting more prickliness on the 2014 mm. bottle. But you were still leaning towards this one as being more flavor. More flavors. Okay, have we nerded enough on that? I think overall, um, there is an edge which is better. If I if I was given the choice, I would buy the older one, the twenty fourteen. Uh, remember, yeah, but with the water, you get the same effect. But they're within ten percent of each other, I guess. I'm waiting for the prickles. Yeah, a little more plasticine that time. I prefer the matchsticky smoke on this one. But the water has made it a hotter finish. There you go. Right, let's go to the chat. And is there anything else I was going to... Oh, you know what? Lefroig. Cask strength, uh, this is batch 11, 58.6%. Just wondering how it compares. I really should have put that in a different bottle, uh, a different glass. Do you want to put it through the viscometer? <laughs> we could do. Oh, much more spirity. A $70 bottle. Very gross, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't have the depth, though. It's about the most bunch of all three. Yes. Well, it is stronger alcohol. Oh, I see. And, but I think it is more punchy, but not as, not as deep in terms of the flavours. Do you know what I mean? It's going it's to be very more unscientific. It's savoury. It's sweeter. But it's very subtle. <laughs> right. Obviously, we're going to definitely have some Ardbeg contamination <laughs> on this one. Is the camera still on? Okay, we're still good. Let's see. Uh, which one is, is the Lefroy? Is that is that Lefroig? Yes. Okay. Uh, um, that's the pride. That, oh. that is so cool. I added water, didn't I? Okay, let me let me go from the bottle. I'm, I'm just waiting for the finish. Do we have enough? A little over. I think I need to refill it again on a separate occasion. Revisit on a separate. Okay. I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> flush the tubes to make sure it's fully Lefroig up to the top, but it should be okay. 
the neck pour, Jim, oops, the neck pour was the 2014 version. Very prickety pepper. Where's it? Did I overfill it? Oh yeah, still, still waiting. So this is going to be the Laphroaig cask strength batch 10, uh, sorry, batch 11. And go. That always already looked like it was going a lot faster. Okay, everyone, pay attention. So I don't miss the number. 318 to beat the 2019 Ugadal. 340, which I think is one of the highest numbers I've seen to beat the 2014 Ugadal. Again, I am going to for me, put the water, I get prickly effect. Put the water, then no prickly effect. Ah, oh, it's very nice. Medicinal um, oatmeal that has been burnt. Neat. Mm. More medicinal. That's right. That's that is more Lafroigi medicinal. So you prefer this part? I mean, it's very, very gross. You think? No, right. Okay, comparing to actual Laphroaig. The finish is longer, isn't it, on this one, I think? Mm. Much thinner. And this flavour. Much thinner, less flavour, like about 50%. Uh, this is more smoky. I got the most ashiness on the older one, but these are both equally smoky. Okay, one minute. 32. We've got a, way, a ways to go. Let me read down the chat. Uh, let's see. Aquami, I think $70 for Lefroy cask strength is a bargain, even here in Europe, if you can find it. It was a weird one, wasn't it? That um, in the UK, for a while at least, you could only buy it at the distillery, but um, we could always buy it in the US. I think it is back on the shelves in the UK, not just the distillery, but um, it does seem to sell out quickly. Daniel is saying, I bought my Oogie this summer, had a fantastic evening with cigars. Did it only last one evening? <laughs> Maybe you had a lot of friends. Greg's Whiskey Guide, an age statement, neither, doesn't guarantee you get great quality, every brand and batch. Uh, yes, it is true. Oh, Melissa's in, hi Melissa. I see Graham is saying hello, hi Graham. Uh, Jason Fisk, totally agree, but we can dream. Ah, uh, yeah. Tony Nelson, Ace Spirits had a $10 coupon last week, got Lefroy uh, Cask Strength 11 delivered for 67 And I can tell you, this one is from Ace Spirits also. You got a better deal though. I really enjoyed the 2020 Oogadal. Um, they've done a good job over the years. Teddy KGB, hey Teddy. Nothing beats Lagavulin 12. Ask Quig. <laughs> we are still waiting for our Lagavulin 12 to show up in blind, but I was just looking for the bottle. Uh, the, there it is. I can see it off the top on our waiting to be discovered section. The one that we have is bottled in 2012. Oh, it's a 2012 version. Um, and this one is 56.1%. It would have been a good one to compare today, wouldn't it? But not allowed. But we'll get there eventually. Oh, hang on, timer. 3.12. Ah, oh, just caught that. So the Lefroy. Okay, let me give you my observation. Hang on a second. The Lefroy is 3.12. It is the least viscous. <laughs> and probably quite similar to the vodka. I didn't do the vodka to check, check today. 3.18 for the 2019 and a massive 3 minutes 40 for the old one. Okay, over to you. I'm trying all three meat. Um, I, I like the best of all. Mm. I like that sweetness. Has the sweetness. Hard and thicker, creamier. Thicker, creamier. Almost mellow. Almost mellow. This one is, is sweet. Less so sweet on the I prefer the more entertaining. But it's a pretty good, it's fantastic. But, but I was surprised. I put the, I the soccer ABV. Oh, you found it stronger. That. 
So the experience was stronger, which would make you think the ABV is stronger, but it's not. Got it. These are identical, and this one is four points yeah. higher. Yeah, about the price, about that. Hmm. Is it, there is a more concentrated flavour. Yes. Maybe we do vote today. There you go. Do you want your gold trophy? I think I would give it. I would give it a gold. Oh, it fits perfectly on top. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think gold for the 2014. Okay, let me go back to the chat. Um, Bishop Burnboy got a local uh, batch 11 as well, or from the local offie. <laughs> Graham Fraser, do you think the viscosity of the previous whiskey on the glass bulb might affect the following sample? I mean, yes. Admittedly, I, you know, it's not flushed dry and done scientifically, but it's still fully charged all the way up to the top. And so if anything, the second one, which scored a slower time, a higher viscosity, if anything, it would have been watered down slightly by the previous one. So um, in this case, it's helped. I mean, it, but no, I think insignificant. I'm getting a very nice finish. Suit, but it's more warmer than grey suit. A warm soot. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say with the viscometer also, you can't quite see, but the little tube. Uh, can you see it if I... The little tube which is down here from this lower section, which is just off the camera. That's where the measuring is really happening through this tiny thin part of the tube. And that was definitely... Uh, fully washed through with the new liquid. Okay. Uh, 311. Thanks, Akwami. <laughs> 12 is good. <laughs> good enough. Uh, Greg's Whiskey Guide. There you go. It is true. It is. It rarely disappoints. Got a recent bottle. Oh, sorry. I don't know which one you're talking about. Theo. Haven't seen you in before. Hi, Theo. Grabbed 2018 Ugadal. One third of the bottle left. Has it got better or worse over a third? Teddy. Wow, can't wait. This and the Septendicum. Yes, almost forgot Craig Ellicky 23. There's a lot in there. Do you want to look at the... Well, you know where the spreadsheet is. You can go look. Melissa, any thoughts on the Lagavulin 200th anniversary bottle? Not from me, but I bet someone has an opinion in here. Uh, yes, Teddy, I see Teddy is answering. Jimmy Leg, two minutes to Roy. Good point. Let's wrap this up. Is there anything that I wanted to say that we've missed? Shake, compare, art, beg, blah, 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 blah. I think that's it. We will be back for uh, Matthias, bottle number 144. Very I remember this is peated. Let's see how it compares. But, but the beef. It's maybe, uh, okay, it's maybe, uh, it's maybe in between here. Right. We'll be back on what day? Sunday. And we will, <laughs> we'll find out what 144 is. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, see you over at Roy's shortly. Where's my out button gone again? Anything else? Yeah, let's, let's try some more.